Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my dogs, Booby, Pilou, and Wolfie, we live in my self-built camper van, and we are navigating van life and making it our own. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. Hey you wonderful people, welcome back to a new video. I have so many things to tell you. Okay, first off I want to start with thank you guys so 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 much for being here. My subscriber count has grown so much in less time and I'm so thankful. Thank you guys so much for being here. Then, what I wanted to say is that this morning I woke up. I was in uh, the town, I don't remember what it's called. Then I had stayed there for 20, 72 hours, so I decided to leave. So I went to, I wanted to go to the IKEA uh, in Murcia because I hear a lot of things about it, that it's so busy and that it's bonkers that people are hanging out here. But I just figured I'm gonna go there and maybe if I can gather the courage, take the dogs and I into Murcia city, which is one of the things that I'm super scared of, but also intrigued by. So maybe I should just do it because then I will take a public transportation, like a bus or a tram. It will be scary, but it'll be great maybe. So let's see if I'm gonna have the courage to do that. So this morning when I woke up, I had overflown my gray water. I've never done that in my entire life. <laughs> never done that since I started that life. I'd washed my hair yesterday and I forgot to empty the gray water. So it overflowed into the cabinet, which started running everywhere. That's not good. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I took my guard to the gray water thingy to empty it. And then there was another man who was also going there to get water. So as I was cleaning the van and doing things, he put his cap of his camper on the top of the water filling thing and then he started to fill the water but it, the thing wasn't secure in the ground so it moved and then his cap fell into the black water station like the where your toilet empties because it was open so it fell into the toilet drain gone and i saw it happen i was like no your cap and then it was gone and he was like oh my god oh my god he was a very nice british guy oh my god oh my god he was holding his head like oh my god oh my god and i thought okay let's figure this out i'm gonna help this dude <laughs> So I did. So I um, was looking around like, okay, where's the water going? It's going somewhere. Where's the, where's like the plumbing? Where's it going? So we were looking and there was this big metal thing in the ground. So we lifted up and there was a twisting lid under there. So I got my grabby thingy that I have. I got like a flashlight and we were like, okay, let's go check this out. So we opened it up, we couldn't find it. It wasn't in there. And then he said, maybe it's still in the pipe that's leading there. I said, okay. Hold your hands in front of the pipe. So he held his hands there like, like, don't drop it, don't drop it. And then I <laughs> emptied my fresh water jug in there so that it would have a good flush. And he got it into his hands. He was so happy. He did have to sanitize and clean it, of course, because it's pretty much fresh water. But he got it back. So then we left. But I was so hyped with like adrenaline from, oh my God, I need to help this man and what's happening. And we found it, yay. <laughs> then I started driving an hour and a half past Valencia into Murcia. So that's a busy place where I don't really like to go in busy places, but I did it anyway. And I was listening to Dr. Tara. Um, she was doing an interview and she was saying, I, I do manifesting things and I'm very aware of thoughts and things. And I'm also aware of not repressing things. So if I feel them like they're there and what can I do for them? And then she said, sometimes it's just as easy as saying, I'm safe. So I said I'm safe and I felt it a little bit. And then I said it in Dutch. Ik ben veilig. Mijn hond, iedereen is veilig, mijn honden zijn veilig. And all of a sudden I felt this relaxation, like we're safe, we're here, nothing's happening. And I had an amazing drive in a very busy part. <laughs> it was going up and down, all the way up and down. And I had a blast driving here. And I'm being very, very uh, feeling very confident I'm gonna go into Murcia somewhere these days and then I went to the 
Aldi <laughs> and they have pretzels. <laughs> like what? For people who are new here, this is my favorite German pastry thingy, bread thingy. I love pretzels. Whenever I find them, I get them. Mm. From all of the things I thought I would find in Spain, I've been looking around for churros because I really like churros. Can't find it. For all the things I thought I could find in Spain, I did not think I would find pretzels here, but I did. So now I'm gonna have lunch, and hopefully, this will be a video about us going into Murcia with the dogs in the stroller with public transportation, but I don't know yet. So, here's the thing tomorrow. I want to go into Murcia city and I want to take the stroller with me. So what I was doing, I was practicing walking with the stroller with the dogs next to it. That's going great. So because that's important, they need to be out of the stroller but walk next to it. They're doing that great. So that's awesome. Now I'm going to practice having them, all three of them, sit in the stroller, close it up and go for a little walk. And then take them out and practice again and practice again because I have never put all three of them in the stroller. I don't know if Wolfie has ever been in the stroller. They need to be okay with all three of them together in the stroller. I am bringing a carry bag for one of the dogs. So if not would not work out, it would take Wolfie out. But I need them to be okay, all three of them in the stroller. So let's practice. Now Bobby and Pilou are already very much used to strollers. Over the years I've had a lot of strollers. Also because it was very useful for putting them behind the bike. So here you can see me put Bobby in first. Then scooch a little bit over, put Pilou in. All the time I'm doing this, I'm rewarding them with treats and also telling them they're doing great. Now let's see how Wolfie will react. It does fit with all three of them, but it's kind of snug. So she needs to be... The other ones need to scooch over a little bit. Now, in a perfect scenario, I would leave this screen open, but I would like to be able to close it. So I'm trying to keep in mind how their stress levels are doing. Wolfie is a little bit confused here. What's going on? She would really like to get out. And um, I'm just trying to reward them. Whenever Wolfie comes out, I put her treat on the bottom so she goes back in to get her treat. Now, as I'm doing this, I keep constantly looking at them and looking for signs of stress. And I keep rewarding them in between. So I close this little lid and then I open it up again and I reward them to see if, they, if either one of them is getting too much stress out about the situation. The only thing is that Wolfie is kind of trying to get out, but at the same time, I'm thinking she just needs to get used to this. It's not that bad. She keeps sitting down. So let's just try and continue. I keep closing and opening and closing and opening. And then we're going to go for a tiny bit of movement, just one little circle so that they have a feeling of movement. And this is enough to see how Wolfie will react. Now she's already gotten used to when the thingy opens that she gets a treat so she's okay with that she does, she's a little bit confused she's looking around to see where I am Pilou is all the way in the back so I'm gradually making the movement bigger I keep stopping in different spots checking on them opening giving them a treat closing and then continuing with a little walk at this point, there's nobody whining. There's not a lot of movement in them. I'm trying to make the stroller move a little bit to the left and to the right to see if there's anything bothering them. But so far, so good. Now, I think this is interesting to see. When I take them out one by one, they shake. You see Wolfie shake here. You see Pilou shake over here. And you'll later see Bobo shake. This is a release of stress for them. It does indicate that they were slightly uncomfortable being in the stroller, but not very stressed out. So it's time to go back in. This time though, I made a little boo-boo. I thought she could sit in there and I was I should have kept on to hold on to the leash. She's fine, she didn't hurt herself, but that's not a behavior I want to teach her. So immediately go back in, give her some treats. And then I closed it off again. But once I was walking here, I thought, no, don't close it off. Just make sure she's secure in the little stroller thingy. So I'm going to tie her in the stroller thingy. There's one lead that's attached to the stroller. So here you can see me, I'm attaching it to her, making it very snug. Now, the reason I don't really like 
tying them in the stroller is if they would go over each other, these leashes would get stuck on each other and would push each other down. But Wolfie's in the front, so she's the one that's on the leash now. The other two are still loose. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie them to the sides with their leash so that if they would fall out, I could catch them. And as soon as Wolfie was tied down, she was fine. It wasn't that short that she couldn't move, but she just figured, okay, well, that didn't really go well. <laughs> it didn't really have the outcome I hoped for. So let's just stay in there. I'm moving a little bit left and right to see what they're doing, but they're fine. So from here on, it's just getting them more and more comfortable, giving them treats, giving them praise, telling them they're doing so good and just observing how they're doing. Now this time when Bobby comes out, he's not shaking. And Pilou always shakes. She's <laughs> very good at letting go of things. Let's shake, girl. Good job. And then there is Wolfie. And I wanted to cut the clip here because there's people coming. But I wanted to show Bobby shake. Let's have a look around and have a little shake. And then let's just continue our walk. Okay, so I'm really happy I did this uh, trial run. Because um, Wolfie jumped out. She's okay. But there's one little strap in there that I'm going to attach her to. And then I think I will just tie Bobby and Pilou's leashes to the cart. And um, also a thing that I didn't really keep in mind is that it's quite warm for them in there. And I have cooling mats. So I'm going to take these out and put them in the stroller. So that, that hopefully keeps them a little bit more cool when they're in there. Uh, but I would like them to sit in there with the little screen open because then they have more space But I have to tie Wolfie down, <laughs> but overall the practice went good. They're good dogs I just figured I need to introduce them to that before we're gonna leave So I think this afternoon I'll try it again put them in there again go for a little walk I think and then hopefully tomorrow when we're gonna go into the tram we'll be fine So here's the thing there's an Aldi here where I got the pretzels and my groceries and they had a Simba and this is my one and only Simba that I've had for 27 years I don't even know when Lion King came out I've had this but they also have a Grogu from uh, the Mandalorian and they had two kinds they had one with little legs and it was just soft and they had the one that was glittery but um, I thought no it's 12 euros I don't need it I think I'm gonna get it I keep thinking about it and I was thinking okay well I'm staying here for at least one night so I can go there tomorrow but I'm like I think I'm gonna get Grogu I already have a um, Olaf in the front because wait let me get it so this is my Olaf which I got because he has in Frozen 2 which is my one of my favorite Disney movies he has this song which is which is like um, this song makes sense when I am older there's no need to be terrified or tense do -do -do. and he is just gaslighting himself to the max but I absolutely love him why am I tearing up but I absolutely love him he is so adorable so I have him on the seat and then um, I see him through my rear view mirror so if I'm a bit stressed I'm like <laughs> someday I'll make sense that I am older do -do -do. so there's no need to be terrified or tense do -do. So that's my Olaf story. I absolutely love this little Olaf. But Grogu is also so cool. And he would be, he's like Baby Yoda. He's not Baby Yoda, but he's like Baby Yoda. And then I would really... I think I'm going to get it. I'm just going to put it next to Olaf. I'm going to make seats for them, I think. And then they're just going to be my little mascots. I just have to figure out what does Grogu... Yeah, no, I'm just going to think of him. Because Grogu protects Mandalorian. If anything happens, he just goes... <laughs> And then he faints but he can help me if anything would go wrong so i think i'm gonna get him he's gonna be my little protector let's go get ourselves a grogu by the way there are so many campers here but let's go get ourselves a grogu
Okay, thank you, Aldi. Thank you. I just got this little Grogu. I got the soft one. I really like the sparkly one. I like the size from the head to the body. But the ears were sparkly silver. And they are supposed to be like this. I just couldn't get over these silver ears. I really liked it. I just, I thought if I'm gonna get the silver ears, I'm gonna get Noid Plus. It might sparkle in the van. So it might be uncomfortable having it in the front. So now we're gonna find a little spot for it. I got a little Grogu. Look at the ears. I love the ears. So now Olaf has a little friend. Hey Olaf, now you're no longer alone. Look at his little hands. Look at his little hands. Now you got a friend. Grogu. I want to put this. I kind of want to keep the tag on. <laughs> Look at them being so darn cute. Good morning, you beautiful people. We had a really quiet night. It is 9.30 in the morning. I just had breakfast. The dogs went for a walk. And today we are going into town. And I thought I would tell you guys why... I was telling you guys yesterday that I need courage for this because there's a couple of things going through my mind and I was thinking if you're just an average person that just likes to go into places, you don't really understand why I need courage. I'm afraid of big crowds of people. I'm afraid to use public transportation, even in the Netherlands. I'm just generally afraid of going to a place without having my own vehicle there to take me out but I'm gonna leave the van here because it's really secure here and safe and it's just very easy to take the public transportation there and I also have like these scares that what happens if I lose my phone or everything or what happens if I need to go to the toilet and there's no toilet toilet there so just anxieties but I'm gonna do it anyway because it looks like fun and it's all gonna be Christmassy, I think. And I think we're gonna have a blast. I just need to get over these hurdles. So I just wanted to get that out there so you guys know why this is a whole thing for me. But I think it's time to go do this because uh, I always say don't let fear hold you back. But there's a lot of things that fear still holds me back from. And driving went so well yesterday that I thought, okay, let's expand a little bit further. So let's go. Oh, I'm so scared. Let's go walk to the tram station and see how that works. So I just encountered a very friendly uh, French person who also spoke Vlaams, which is Belgium, which is similar to Dutch. So um, she told me that I need to go over there and that I need to get out of the tram with a big Christmas tree and just ask people on the tram. <laughs> And she doesn't know if the dogs are allowed, but I said the, they should be because the, the rules have changed this year. So I'm just gonna see and check it out. If not, if they're not allowed, worst case, I bought a ticket for one euros. I might explore on my own then, but I would have to like hurry to get back because I don't leave the dogs in the van too long. But I would just like to hang out there all day with the dogs. Okay, so I bought a ticket. The dogs are in the stroller. Here's my little ticket. And I am so, like, my stomach is, like, my heart is sinking into my stomach. I'm so scared, but we'll be fine. I'm just going to track maps where we're at. Oh, this is just nerve-wracking. But we're doing it because... I've been told that there's a lot of Christmas decorations, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so we're in the tram. I don't think it looks like I'm bringing dogs anyway because they're in this stroller. Now I need to keep an eye on where to get out. <laughs> but we're in. so cute there was this whole group of people come and I didn't know so I went to the side and they gave me this gold star and Pilou got one too <laughs> he put it on her it was very sweet there was this girl 
this just this girl like 10 year old girl and she came up to me and she's like like can I put stairs like yes yes <laughs> it means Jesus was born for you but still the gesture was very kind it was a very welcoming gesture we just got in here fun here they're making music in the street we just saw this whole Bible what is it like Christmas I don't know like the birth of Jesus <laughs> I'm not sure what it was there were babies sacrificed I don't really know but it was beautiful to look at the dogs are a whole um, like people don't usually see three little dogs in a stroller so they are all so happy to see them and Pilou really likes attention so it's good for her to have so much attention and it's just so much fun here and um, we bought a lottery ticket which we rubbed on a black cat because everybody was rubbing it on the black cat and there's this big lottery in Spain on the 22nd of December and uh, we bought a ticket so by the time this video will be out I will know if I want anything I can win 400,000 euros. Hey, oh, so maybe we will. That would be awesome to win that money. And I got one for my parents for Christmas as well. They were on the phone when I was buying it and it was hilarious. So maybe we'll win a shit ton of money, you guys. Then I can make my content even better. That would be awesome. So we're just gonna have some more look arounds and see what else is to do here. get over to how beautiful this door is that's so stunning look at the color and the detail it's absolutely beautiful so 
we made it a little bit out of the center. Well, we're still in the middle of Mercia, but there's no shopping here. There's a beautiful park here with a river and the river is called Segura. And that makes me think of Tom Segura. So uh, I wanted to go hang out here for a little bit. I'm walking the dogs. It's hard vlogging, trying to push a stroller and walking the dogs. They're doing great. I, I've, I eventually put them in the stroller because it's way easier for me to navigate in between all of these people. It's really beautiful here. I'm not uh, stressed out at all being here. Everybody's really nice. Everything's in Christmas vibes. Everybody's very pleasant. But it is noon, so I should be getting some food. Or we're gonna head back. Come here. Hola, buenas. Yeah. I'm really enjoying myself. I'm really happy we did this because it's so scary for me to do these things. But once I'm doing them, I know I'm having a blast. Guys, this tree, this tree, oh my god, look at it, that's just unbelievable, look at this freaking tree, like, <laughs> in the middle of winter, oh no, the beginning of winter, but still, look at that tree. I love all these beautiful trees. They also have a lot of orange trees over there. They are so stunning. All of these palm trees. We don't have that in the Netherlands. It's so gorgeous. Like to find some churros. Churros is one of the things I really love in Spain and I would really like to find some. It's gonna be super sweet but I really like that so I hope, fingers crossed, we're gonna find some so I can have some for lunch. I put them back in the stroller we're gonna go back into the city center one of the things that I am keeping in mind is that they are not having naps so Wolfie's getting tired Wolfie's poo is getting thinner so I'm hoping that they will relax in the stroller we're gonna find something to eat and we're gonna make our way back because wolfie has been doing great for like a week and a half but we don't want it to get worse we don't want him to have too much happening in a day. So we're just going to cross the road and get back into city center and then head back to the tram. Mickey Mouse is here. There's not music here. I bought a little, two little um, necklaces with uh, gemstones for my mom and for myself. 
and uh, I wanted to get churros, but the churros opens at four. It's closed, and it's now one. <laughs> that takes too long. So we're gonna go back. Hopefully, we'll find some churros somewhere else. So what is a lot of fun is that people are really open here. I get a lot of people are talking to me because of the dogs and a lot of people are telling me how much they love the dogs. But it's nice because I'm all alone here but I'm still interacting with people even though I don't speak Spanish. Okay, now my new mission is to find churros. So I'm getting pretty tired. The dogs are exhausted. They're, they've been in the stroller for about an hour and a half, but they just want to settle down and go to sleep somewhere. I found another churro stand back there, but it's also closed. We're very close to the... A lot of stands are closing, by the way. We're very close to the tram. So I think we're going to go back and then I'm just going to rest. And maybe tonight I'm going to take the tram again and then go get churros. <laughs> I don't know. But now we're gonna head back because I'm so tired. And just like that, it's 3 or 5 and we made it back from where we started. <laughs> Everything went great. Oh my god, we had a lot of fun. And what I thought was hilarious is that Spanish people are not used to seeing dogs in prams or in strollers. So that was so funny to me. Oh my gosh. I was so worried and everything just went fine. It was awesome. I might go back later tonight because I haven't gotten any churros and I would really like to see it in lights. But it was so busy in the tram back. But if I don't have a stroller with me, the dogs will stay home. Then um, that would be fine. Okay, I decided to take the tram again. This was a train ride from hell. This was so packed like sardines, it was bonkers. But we're here and we're going to find churros. So seeing how bonkers busy it is now, I was slightly <laughs> hesitant about my decision, but I'm just gonna get churros and we'll head back. So I got churros. <laughs> they look a little wonky. <laughs> I hope they're gonna be good. But let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna enjoy my churros. I went through all of this weird ass trouble getting in the tram just to get some churros. But I really wanted to get some. Last time I was in Spain, I just, I couldn't find any anywhere. <laughs> okay, I've decided I've seen it all. <laughs> I'm done. I ate some churros. I'm going back to my pups. Hey everyone, I'm back home, I'm having cuddly time with my beautiful little boy and my very attention-seeking little girl. <laughs> Pillow's chilling under the bed. We are back in the van and I had a wonderful day. I'm super tired because we were outside basically all day. In the sunshine and with all of these impressions and all of these people and so much was going on. But it was a wonderful day. And I always know that once I do it, I'm going to enjoy it. I just need to go do it. And so I'm really happy. We went into Mercia today. Ow, Wolfie! Ah, oh, she... Oh. Ow, ow, Wolfie! Ah, oh. she bit my finger. <laughs> she still has uh, eight... Of these canine teeth because she's getting new teeth but her old teeth aren't coming out so I'm trying to wedge them like 
trying to get them out, but sometimes she just gets too feisty and she bites my finger. Anyway, this video is pretty long, I think, and uh, it went up and down. I just wanted to put out there, don't let fear hold you back. There's still so many things that fear is holding me back on, but gradually I'm pushing the boundaries and I'm expanding my comfort zone. Oh, yeah, that was our day. We I put the heater on and we're just, because it's not that cold in the fan, but being outside all day gets you so, I don't know, like toasty. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but I'm getting cold. So I'm putting on the heater. I want to thank you guys so, 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 so super much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, don't forget to say yes to new adventures.